A second explanation for a dominant two-party system in the United States offered by some analysts is the idea that there's a sort of natural dualism to American politics. That is to say that most of the major issues that have presented in the American system have come down to two basic positions. According to this argument, given that most issues come down to an either-or proposition, there are two political parties to articulate the two positions. For example, in the beginning, in the debates over the ratification of the Constitution, there were those who favored a stronger central government and the ratification of the Constitution, the Federalists, and those who favored Confederacy and opposed ratification of the Constitution, the Anti-Federalists. These two positions ultimately became the basis for the first two political parties, the Federalist Party and the Jeffersonian Republican Party. During the Civil War era, there were those who favored abolition of slavery and those who wished to retain the institution of slavery. During the Gilded Age, there were those who favored regulation of big business and those who supported laissez-faire policies. During the Great Depression, some favored the establishment of a welfare state, others opposed it. More recently, as social issues have become more prominent, some favor the death penalty, others oppose it. Some favor legalization of gay marriage, others oppose it. Some favor gun control, others oppose it, and so on. Is American politics really more dualistic than politics in Germany or Sweden or Japan or Australia or Israel or any other country? Is it really accurate to characterize American politics in this way? There are multiple positions on any of these issues. Nor is it accurate to say that Democrats articulate one position and Republicans the other. We find that there are different positions on most issues represented within each of the two major parties. As an explanation of two-party politics in the United States, the natural dualism argument is very difficult to sustain.